The state opposition says it will allow its MPs to cross the floor when Parliament votes on the controversial lockout laws next week. But so far, no LNP members have indicated they will do that. Tegan George reports. The opposition won't be swayed by public sentiment over Labor's planned lockout laws. They're not the only people who care for kids. We care for kids as well. The LNP claims they're part of the denumanisation of its policies, but Deputy Leader John Paul Langbrook says MPs are free to cross the floor next week and won't be punished. And if people feel strongly enough about these issues affecting their own electorate, then they, they are able to cross the floor without the same punitive measures that you get in the Labor Party. A dig over outspoken Cairns MP Rob Pine, who's against the legislation but is expected to toe the party line. We've had no one who doesn't support our position. Including backbencher and Dr Christian Rowan, a former AMAQ president. These laws have the backing of the Australian Medical Association. How can anyone sit by and not have a conscience. Counter MPs will fly into Brisbane on Sunday night for more negotiations. They're nowhere near convinced. The LNP claims Labor will try to shame sceptics ahead of the debate. The government apparently are going to be using taxpayer funded advertising this weekend to promote their party position. No, that's not true. That is simply not true. The Attorney General says a modest amount has been set aside for a public health awareness campaign should the laws pass. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.